welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. Now news in detail. The blame game continues between the state and the centre over IPS officers issue. Union Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde has refuted Goa CM's charge that Union Ministry is not extending help to fill vacant IPS posts in Goa. Chief Minister Manohar Parikar says that Shinde cannot handle Home Ministry. Union Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde has rejected Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar's recent criticism that his ministry is not extending help to fill vacant IPS post in the coastal state. He says that the law and order situation in a state is not handled solely by the IPS officers but by local police. I don't think you see by one or two IPS officers law and order disturbs. I also remain its chief minister of Maharashtra which is very big state. It's, uh, it's not for one or two or three IPS officers they can control it. The local police, they, they will have to control the law and order. CM Parikar says that Shinde cannot handle Home Ministry. DG has to come from Delhi. I cannot post a DG because there is only one DG in Goa. That also is not DG, it is additional DG. There is only one IGP in Goa. There is only two DIGs in Goa. All have to be posted from the Agmut cadre. I, they cannot be local officers. If he does not understand that, he should vacate his seat first and then talk. Ask him to read my letter. Please read letter which is sent to you properly. It appears that you don't read letters. Adding to this tangle, GPCC President Subhash Shirodkar has also criticized Parikar for blaming union government for shortage of IPS officers. Even law and order. IPS Java I am the whole and soul to appoint IPS. I am the whole and soul to appoint IS officers. I am not sure what I am doing. I I am doing. Out of 52 Nigerians, 12 Nigerians have been granted bail in Porvari Ruckus case by additional sessions court at Mapsa. However, out of 12, 5 are still under arrest in Nigerian murder case. Mapsa JMFC has also extended judicial custody of 10 Nigerians by 14 more days. On the other side, NCP has demanded impartial inquiry and has supported opposition leaders' demand of judicial probe. Judicial custody of 10 Nigerians have been extended for more 14 days by the Mapsa JMFC. The case has been handed over to Mapsa Police. <laughs> Meanwhile, NCP's chief spokesperson Rajano Dumelo has supported demand of opposition leader Pratap Singh Rane of judicial inquiry into the Nigerian ruckus in the state. So that there should be no confusion that one party is asking CBI, one party is asking judicial. The main aim is to have an impartial inquiry. What we want to get to the root cause is the point who is involved in drugs. 
that uh, we have always said these murders are just instruments in the game. This is not going to solve the problem by getting the murderers arrested. He is trying to convince the people of Goa I have arrested the murderer. No. You have to arrest the drug, the drug trade. Shiv Sena has expressed worry over Goa's diminishing identity. Yeah, Aplia Deshatla Atisha Agraganya as a Masika, India today. And the India today is a November Cha Ankar, Don Hazar Dahacha Ankar, Goa Baddal Sagra Goshi Alele, Goa Baddal Sarva Ekandarit, Goa La Sarat El Lokan Sambod Lelahe, Ki Sex and Mafia on occasion of coast. Bureau report prudent. Now police will have to register FIR on complaint in case of cognizable offence. The Supreme Court on Tuesday said it is mandatory for the police to register a first information report in a cognizable offence. Police will have to complete preliminary investigation within seven days. Epic's court has won strict action against a police officer if FIR is not registered. The Supreme Court on Tuesday said that it is mandatory for a police officer to register FIR on a complaint in case of a cognizable offence. The five-judge constitution bench headed by Chief Justice P. Satashivam said that action will be taken against a police officer if he fails to register the FIR, which indeed is the first step towards filing of formal charges. The Apex Court also stated that the preliminary investigation has to be completed within seven days. The arrest can be made later after ascertaining the information of a serious offence. An Apex Court further said that the preliminary investigation prior to the registration is permissible in cases relating to disputes in matrimony, corruption, financial dealings and certain other categories. Cognizable offences are those which attract punishment of three years or more post-conviction and where an investigation officer can arrest an accused without a warrant. The legislative intent is for compulsory registration of FIR in case of cognizable offence. Till date, police were taking liberty to register FIR even in cases of cognizable offence. Now the Supreme Court has cleared the mandate leaving no scope for manipulating the situation. Bureau report prudent. Supreme Court's interim order of e-auction of extracted iron ore has brought some relief to the mining dependents. However, the order has also set some tedious tasks for the state government. Experts feel that rent of jetties, transportation of ore, dust allowances to roadside residents and employment to mining dependents may create more chaos. Minor Harish Melwani has expressed a need to verify all the possible circumstances before e-auctioning of the extracted ore. <laughs> The three member committee Supreme Court and Nuke the Calaway. Yes, I have a question of Soroche, but tell them. As an e auction, Malade cargo supply the Ponang and Mr. Country party get the cargo. Amche Baiki has a Zer cargo over the Canada e auction and the successful Zander, the thing Tanka cargo paper mellow. Tell them, Amzodulu and Anni, Bali Lakaguna. All these aspects need to be verified. Truck owners are not fully satisfied with the Supreme Court's interim order as many of the idle trucks will be left out from the ore transportation post-auction. But consider it a relief after year-long crisis. I mean, मशीन साधारण तरी सुधार तो लिए शाम काशी दिस्ता। जेरे मार्केट जेरे सारे डब बढ़ला हाँ, तितुन तले न मशीन आमी रिलीफ में डले, आनी जाती तले बेगिन ये सरकारन, ये जेर आम तो जाती तले बेगिन ये साल कर जेर जेर डब बुझ जेर जाऊँ कितने 
Meanwhile, Goa Pradesh Congress Committee has welcomed the interim order of the Supreme Court on mining. Bureau report prudent. The National Green Tribunal on Tuesday said that it is not mandatory for the Environment Ministry to refer to Gudgil Panel's report while deciding applications for clearance for projects in permissible areas of the Western Ghats. A bench headed by NGT Chairperson Justice Swatantra Kumar clarified that with the MOEF accepting in principle the recommendations of the K. Kasturi Rangan Panel report, the MOEF can now consider either of the reports while deciding the applications for clearance. The Western Ghats is an ecologically sensitive area which is spread across the six states including Goa. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.